we have been before all these pastors and landowners come in. We always have been. You've always been using these lands. Yeah, in this area, we, uh, the area. For generations. Yes. This is the first land that here appeared. I see. And the rest of them used to be the ocean. Yeah, so that goes back to the story of when the great flood was yeah. and when yeah. the spine of Florida was the first yeah. land to come up. Yeah. In the beginning, uh, that's all it was, just the animals. Mm -hmm. they, the, they have the ceremonies and dances and song and their voice. But the creator decided something is to take care of them. So they create the, the people and then we have to learn it from them mm -hmm. and to pass it on to us to represent them. Wow. So then that's when we come a uh, clan of them. And they said, you, you represent the, all the life, so the trees. And when you go to dance, just break one of the leaves and dance with them. And they were happy with you. So that's what we do, either grass or any kind of plant. And then there's the wind clan as well. Yes. Those are the ones related to uh, hurricanes or tornadoes. Early days before the UPN killed all the most of the indigenous people, everything, everybody has a represent all the trees and animals and even the ocean life. But when they came, they killed most of the clan and just a few left now. So when you when you think about uh think about that how many thousands of eight, uh, eight people exist, indigenous people in this area, throughout the United States? So, this is to call a uh, uh, Okeechobee battlefield. And a lot of archaeologists are trying to find where they is, but we know where it is, but we never told them. I always grow up around here, also. I've been grew up uh, at different places because that's how our people always been, not uh, just like uh, we don't have boundary. Mm. And we do have some of the places we we'll need to attend to. Yeah. So I watch them here grow up and even the, the, the road is a travel road, it's not the asphalt that time. Yeah. So when they rebuilt the bridge, also continue damage the, the waterways. Right. And when they put the pipe in, it make it worse, but we don't know how it's gonna be because we know the steel can rot in so many years. Right. Mm. So how much it's gonna affect us in the future. So we still the complain or challenge them to remove out of the, out of the ground. Yeah. Because it's not supporting us anything what the gas line gonna come and never has and not not supporting any community here. When they when they were doing that then it's awful to see what happened. Yeah. It still looks pretty bad right now. Why do you think people don't speak out? Well I think uh, the one they take the land away from them and they started complaining and uh, and that's what they does just take the, uh, their land away and they're, they're scared of it. So they might as well let them do it because we want to continue to live in the, the property. So I think what that's what happened through up to all the way to start the beginning and the end. All the way through Florida? Yes. And it's white people as well as native people who are afraid that they would lose their land? Yes. And the water also got a lot of fish, catfish, bass, bram, different kind of type of bram, and then also like tur turtles and shrimps and all kinds of stuff because the fish have to have a food mm. to survive. Mm -hmm. It can't be just the fish survive. Mm -hmm. So all different kind of uh, the life in the water. What type of land wildlife would rely on, on, on the creek? Well, right now, 
is so hot and they, that's what they it's like a cooling system the mm. air, air condition for them yeah so they have to rely on the water right. and also have to rely on the trees right. to make it cooler and then when you look on the other side they took all of those natural creation it's not there anymore and what is this creek called fort drum fort drum creek creek fort drum creek so the pipeline runs underneath this creek? Yes, right there is where it goes. You see those signs? That's what the, the line is, where the bike is. Sable Trail ends at a hub just south of Orlando. And then Florida Southeast Connection is the one that hooked up with Sable Trail. It's really one pipeline. Florida Southeast Connection, Connection hooked, hooked up, up with Sable at Trail. at that hub, and they are the ones that actually did this section. They brought everything in. It was an incredible operation. Yeah. And they would line up, you know, way down with all these machines, and when they're putting in this and it's just like, you just can't imagine what it felt like to see it. The state of Florida, it's a lot of spring and underwater rivers and all those goes everywhere, not just this area either. So that's how much it's going to affect something happened to the pipe. So the people don't see that far. It's just to come and collect the money and put the pipe in and left. Mm -hmm. And the law protect them, uh, robbing people in front of uh, their money. It's supposed to be spent by protecting the people. But it doesn't work that way <laughs> in the real life. Yeah. So in your tradition, when a woman is about to have a baby, would she have the baby in her jiki or would she have it in the woods or how, how would she have her baby? They put that under the tree there is closest to the earth mm -hmm. and then that's where they pull them out. Oh, I see. And then they, they, when they first born they touch the earth and then they touch the water. Wow. Trying to assimilate how the creator created us out of the earth. Yeah. Because that's why we keep saying that's our elders. That's our elders. That's what we keep saying that. <laughs> right. So when you say elders, you're talking about the trees. Yes. Trees or animals. Mm -hmm. Or insects, frogs, all of those things. Right. Everyone forgets the insects. Yeah. <laughs> Early 1800, it would be uh, it's like a big city up maybe around Jacksonville and Tallahassee through maybe uh, the Augustine area, all those uh, indigenous cities at one time. And then when the UPN come into the area and then scatter us, started attacking us and we kind of spread out and came here for safety. Can you still live in this area the way your people have always lived in? No. We create that Everglades Park, the Big Cypress Swamp Park, and then the they regulate us all kinds of things we cannot do. So that would be also trying to communicate with them to we have a right to live the way we need to survive a uh, way of life. When they create the park, a lot of people came in to get drunk or to use a, a dope and shoot them inside the village where we live in. So it's not safe for our kids, so they move us out of there. People are safe. Right now, they bring the more people and affecting the, the nature and disappearing. And, and, and I think also the animals, when they have a baby, it's a certain way to uh, raise them, and then they, they can't do that as we are. So that's why we come here to try to protect us and make them understand it's important to not bring a lot of people in the nature. Tell me the story of Monument Lake. When they finished uh, the highway and they invited the, the people, indigenous people, with which is Seminole people, and then that's when they told them they just leave us alone, our way of life, living and raise a garden and 
the structure and all those things they have said repeated the same thing over again. The same thing they said uh, 1800. But what you see today is a lot, a lot of those words been taken out. Also the prophecy told us that those original caretakers of the earth and they lost their way of life, the earth also they vanished. So that's why it's important to us to try to open up to attend to uh, authority or responsibility. Right. So that's why we're here we're talking to people who are so called taking care of this place.